The goal early in a season is to not overreact, don't get too excited about things that go well, and don't panic about the things that are less than ideal. So with our first power rankings of the 2018 season, we'll point out a couple of things that have happened so far, but mostly these rankings are based on what we already thought coming into the season, sound good? Cool. Let's dive in, more, 5 opening weekend overreactions MLB power rankings 1. Astros fun fact, through five games, Jose Altuve and Carlos Correa, the three-quarters hitters in the lineup, have 17 combined hits and a .447 batting average. Useful. Why they're here, the reigning World Series charms will spend most of the season in this top spot, barring disaster. The lineup remains loaded and the rotation added a potential Cy Young candidate in Jarrett Cole, who struck out 11 and gave up just two hits in his seven-inning debut, too. Nationals fun fact Bryce Harper had a pretty incredible stretch of plate appearances the past couple of days. In order, Homer, walk, Homer, walk, Homer, walk, walk, walk. Yep, why they're here, remember how they made that big trade for Adam Eaton and then he spent all but 23 games on the disabled list. He's trying to make up for lost time, apparently. Eaton's batting .615 so far this season, with two homers, two doubles, five RBIs and seven runs scored in three games. Yikes. And, of course, that rotation, topped by three-time Cy Young winner Max Scherzer and Steven Strasburg, is really, really good. Through four games, the Nationals' starters have a 1.07 combined era. All four lasted at least six innings. 3. Indians Fun Fact Newcomer Yonder Alonso has more RBIs and runs, 5 each than any other Cleveland player has hit, 4 tops, why they're here, somehow, Cleveland is 2-2 two two on the year despite losing a game that featured Corey Kluber throwing 8 innings and allowing only 2 runs, despite Carlos Carrasco's 7.94 era and despite that Francisco Lindor, Jose Ramirez and Jason Kipnis are batting a combined .1256 for 48. This team will be just fine. With that rotation, that bullpen and the division, the Royals, Tigers and White Sox are all in various rebuilding stages, Cleveland should easily approach 95 wins again in 2018. 4. Yankees Fun Fact Giancarlo Stanton isn't the only Yankee with a two-homer game in Toronto. Tyler Austin duplicated the feat with a pair of blasts on March 31st. Why they're here, the top half of that lineup is fierce. Just ridiculous. The bullpen didn't always look great in Toronto, but it's stacked with hard throwers with impeccable track records. The rotation looked solid the first time through, though Sonny Gray needs to cut down on the base runners, more Aaron Boone paying no attention to early second guesses five. Red Sox fun fact, David Price threw seven shutout innings in his 2018 debut, allowing just four hits and zero walks. In his 11 starts during an injury-shortened 2017 season, Price was better than that just one time. Why they're here? Truth is, if Price is back to his Cy Young form and Chris Sale continues to do Chris Sale things, he gave up one hit and struck out nine in his his six shutout innings, and Rick Porcello looks more 2016 than 2017, as he did in his first start, the Red Sox could take the AL East. That lineup is solid all the way through and the bullpen is too, as long as the Joe Kelly, Carson Smith game in Tampa was just a hiccup. 6. Dodgers Fun Fact All four of the Dodgers games in the season opening series with the Giants involved a shutout. San Francisco won two by identical 1-0 scores, and the Dodgers won the two by a combined 14-0 score. Why they're here, the Clayton kershaw led rotation is really good. The unsung hero of the rotation, Alex Wood, picked up where he left off last year, Wood tossed eight shutout innings in his season debut, allowing only one hit, after allowing one of zero runs in 13 of 25 starts last year. Yes, Kenley Jensen has looked human. That's worth watching, though his track record speaks for itself. Fair to wonder how long Matt Kemp is going to be a starter in left field. 7. Diamondbacks Fun Fact Through four games, Paul Goldschmidt has a .083 batting average, tied for 194th of 213 qualified hitters but a robust .450 on base percentage tied for 37th. Why they're here, the Diamondbacks brought most everybody back from their 93-win team, aside from trade acquisition JD. Martinez, of course, and they're expected to be back in the playoff mix again this year. 
The biggest question, do they have the pitching to compete with the Dodgers for the NI West title, or are they more likely to wind up in the wild card game again this fall? 8. Mets fun fact, maybe not a fact but an observation, Jacob de Grom without long hair still looks odd, why the here, this team has pieces necessarily to compete for a playoff spot. They won't challenge the Nationals and the 100-ish wins it probably will take to win the division, but getting to the 85-88 range for a possible wildcard spot. That could happen. The key is what they get out of the rotation behind Noah Syndergaard and Jacob de Grom, a group that includes Stephen Matz, Matt Harvey and Seth Lugo. 9. Cubs Fun fact, the Cubs have struck out 58 times in five games, a couple of extra inning contests added at bats, and that's an NI record for most Ks in the first five games of a season, why they're here, the strikeouts are troubling. The Cubs are one of the few teams that have moved down a couple of spots from where they would have been before the start of the season. It's not just the strikeouts, of course. It's fair to wonder what they'll get from opening day starter John Lester, who saw some of his numbers drop precipitously from 2016-17, 5.6 RWAR to 0.7 RWAR, for example, and failed to get out of the fourth inning against a Marlins lineup that isn't exactly packed with all-stars anymore, 10. Angels Fun Fact, Shohei Otani faced 22 batters in his MLB pitching debut. Only three managed hits off him, but they came back to back to back, a single, a single and a three-run homer, why they're here, the Angels are kind of a fascinating team. They have Mike Trout, of course. And now they have Otani, with all eyes on him. But that rotation is really intriguing. They've been plagued with pitching injuries the past couple of seasons, and now those guys are finally pretty much all healthy and back in the mix. If those starters stay healthy, the rotation will be solid and deep. If they don't, wouldn't be stunning to see them miss the playoffs again, for what would be the sixth time in Trout's seven full MLB seasons, 11. Cardinals fun fact, with three homers already this year, shortstop Paul DeJong, who signed a contract extension this spring, now has 28 in 112 career MLB games, why they're here, the pitching staff has more, high upside, guys than, sure things, at this point in the season. In the rotation, Luke Weaver is entering his first full season as a MLB starter, and Miles Miklas is back in the bigs after a couple of very successful years in Japan. In the bullpen, rookie Jordan Hicks has electric stuff, and Alex Reyes does, too, though he can't come off the 60-day DL until late May. If everything works out, this team is capable of winning the NI Central 12. Rockies fun fact, the Rockies lead MLB with 10 homers in the first four games but they've yet to play in Coors Field, why they're here, that lineup is really good, and that rotation is full of youngsters back for another go-round after exceeding expectations in 2017. And we all know how much money the front office spent this off-season to fortify the bullpen. Want a dark horse division winner candidate? Think about the Rockies, 13. Brewers fun fact, random and meaningless, but through four games Christian Yelich and Travis Shaw have identical .389 batting averages and .421 on-base percentages. Why they're here, Lorenzo Cain has reminded Milwaukee fans why they were so excited he signed as a free agent, he has a .500 average, 9 for 18, with a homer, 4 RBIs and 3 stolen bases so far. For the Brewers, a potential spot in the playoffs is all about pitching. Is the rotation deep enough, and is the bullpen behind Corey Nebel good enough? 14. Blue Jays fun fact, a year after Justin Smoke's long-awaited breakout, 38 homers, .883 ops, the switch hitting first baseman leads the majors with 8 RBIs, why they're here, this team didn't get a ton of positive headlines in the offseason, most centered around the, should they trade Josh Donaldson, question, but there aren't many, any glaring weaknesses. They have a solid rotation, a solid lineup, and the makings of a solid bullpen. Don't sleep on the Jays, 15. Mariners fun fact, this isn't really a fun fact but it's a fact, the Mariners own the longest playoff drought in MLB, last playoff trip in 2001, why they're here, maybe this will be the year the drought ends. It certainly could be, there's talent on the roster, especially when everyone's healthy. That's the key.
Staying healthy hasn't been easy for Mariners players, especially the starters. Only two pitchers have made more than 25 starts in the past two years. S-T-E-L-L-I-N-I. -I. Supersized bullpens make baseball less exciting. 16. Twins thought, starters Jose Barrios, Kyle Gibson and Jake Odorizzi have combined for 21 shutout innings so far, and those three have only allowed five hits so far. 17. Phileas thought, that opening series in Atlanta was, rough. Gabe Kapler has a lot of eyes on him as he learns on the job as a major league manager. 18. I thought, want a really dark horse playoff contender. The A's have more talent on this roster than you probably realize. The young Mats, Chapman and Olsen, are damn good. 19. Piratus thought, know how you reach the playoffs. You beat the teams you're supposed to beat, and you win at home. The Pirates started by winning three games in Detroit against the rebuilding Tigers, then upended the Twins in the home opener, 20. Giants thought, they've scored two runs in four games. Total. Joe Panic has two solo home runs, off Clayton Kershaw and Kenley Jansen, bizarrely. The better than this, but still, that's an ugly start to a season that already saw Madison Bumgarner land on the DL, 21. White Sox thought, can they actually contend for a wild card spot? Stranger things have happened. If the young starters adjust to life in the majors, it's possible. 22. Bravis thought, can they actually contend for a wild card spot? Stranger things have happened. The Ronald Acuna watches on. 23. Reds tote, Tyler Marler Shudder Cubs out for six innings in his 2018 debut. He now has five MLB starts under his belt, and he has a 2.08 era. Not too shabby. 24. Rangers thought, the first time through the rotation, Bartolo Colon, the 44-year-old wonder, was the only starter to last six innings, 25. Orioles thought, Chance Sisko was right to bunt against the shift. The Orioles have nine players with at least nine plate appearances, and only one has a batting average above .188, Manny Machado, .231. 26. Race thought, the race won their opener against the Red Sox 6-4, then lost the last three games of the series, all three by only one run. Frustrating, 27. Marlins thought, truth is the Marlins looked better against the Cubs than most anyone would have expected, 28. Tigers thought, the cold weather hasn't helped, but the Tigers have just one home run through four games, 29. Royals thought, I would say the cold weather hasn't helped, because the Royals have just one home run through three games, but the opponent in the first two games, the White Sox, hit seven home runs in those two games, 30. Padres thought, not just 0-4 so far this season, but 0-4 at home. Not ideal.